Mr. President, I rise today to honor the lives of four Hoosiers who were lost tragically in a car accident this week. Edith Schmucker, Zachary Potts, Emma Thompson, and Representative Jackie Walorski. We grieve them all, and we pray for their family and friends. This is, of course, a, a profoundly difficult time for those of us who, who knew one or more of these Hoosiers. It's such a difficult time for their families and their friends. And all of us, I know, we commit to do whatever it is in our power to comfort their loved ones in the difficult days ahead. Like everyone here and back home in Indiana, I am absolutely heartbroken. I think one thing that hit everyone particularly hard was the loss of, of two young congressional staff members. Whether you knew Zach or Emma personally or not, you certainly know their type if you're watching these proceedings from Capitol Hill. You know the type of, of, of hardworking, smart, committed young person that comes to work on a congressional staff. They dedicate so much of their time, their talents, other opportunities are, are given up in order to serve their country, to work towards the betterment of their nation. We should celebrate their accomplishments while we grieve their loss. It's a reminder, I think, for all of us to thank the many congressional staff members who, who do much more than the public will ever know. I want to take a few minutes today to pay tribute to our colleague right here in the halls of Congress, Jackie Walorski. Jackie and I came to Congress roughly the same time. She, two years after I, and, and I'll never forget when she arrived here at the U.S. Capitol. Jackie didn't need time to get her sea legs. No, Jackie knew that she belonged here. Jackie understood that this was her calling. She, she didn't need people to tell her that she belonged. She got right to work because she had some things to accomplish. I have to say her, her confidence was infectious. Everyone saw it. Everyone was impressed by it. People loved being around her, and including me. Jackie had so many other amazing qualities, and I'd like to highlight a number of those today. She was always so full of energy. It was a positive energy. She was, she was a lightning bolt. She could light up a room like no other. In fact, in, in my observation, she, she only had two speeds. It was full bore on and, and off. She was high-spirited and, and full of fire. Jackie also had a really big heart. In fact, her heart was as big as it was good. She wore it on her sleeve every day, every moment of the day. She didn't hide her convictions. In fact, she made sure that they were expressed in, in the boldest, most colorful fashion. Her convictions were deeply held. She was proud of them. It's what made Jackie, Jackie. It was, she, she was a, a deep conviction, clearly, not just with respect to her politics. No, it came from a deeper place. She had deep convictions with respect to her religious faith. I have to say, for all the many speeches I saw her deliver, for all the people I saw her energize, it was often after she delivered a prayer, and I saw her deliver a number of those, that audiences gave their most heartfelt ovations. Jackie was a larger-than-life figure. But Jackie was never fake. She was never contrived. She was beloved, in fact, because she inspired and motivated people with a passion that was so authentic, so human. And Jackie cared about the people she connected with. She was genuinely concerned. She was what you might call the genuine article. Jackie was also very smart, not just energetic. 
She was very smart. As a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, you could see that on a regular basis, but even in a casual conversation, Jackie had a habit of cutting right to the issue. But more importantly, Jackie was smart about the people she represented. She knew their hearts. She knew their concerns. She knew their challenges. She knew their aspirations. She studied them. She lived it. She stayed in touch with them. She never forgot who she worked with. She never forgot who she worked for. And she never forgot who sent her to Washington. Jackie also had courage. She was a fearless leader. You see this in, in your best leaders. She didn't flinch in the face of tough votes. Well, Jackie was smart enough to, kn to know the consequences, but she wasn't afraid. She did what she thought was right. She did it for the right reasons. And she had enough self-confidence to go explain her votes to her constituents. It was at once a, a, a confidence uh, in herself, but it was also a confidence in, in those she represented. She was a leader, confident in her own abilities and, and confident in the abilities of, of those around her. If there's a single memory of, of Jackie's time in this building, the U.S. Capitol, and I'd say her time in the Indiana State House, it was that she is indeed a leader. Since Jackie's passing, I've had the opportunity to, to discuss her service, her life with a number of people, and this keeps coming up. She was a real leader. This is what they're talking about. For all these amazing qualities, I have to say, personally, there's something else that I keep coming back to. It's the first thing I come back to when I think of Jackie, and it's, it's frankly, it's, it's very personal to me. I'm going to miss Jackie's laughter. Oh, she had a beautiful, bellowing laugh, uninhibited, so authentic, not contrived. It came from a, a place where she appreciated humor. She appreciated, at times, the absurdity of life. She always had a joke at hand or funny observation to make, or maybe she had read something recently she wanted to share with me, but um, we had so many great laughs together, and she could make my side hurt in fairly short order. I'm going to miss that. And it's really hard to believe that our paths won't ever cross again. They cross so frequently, sometimes in this building, but typically it was in Indiana's 2nd Congressional District, back home. It was rare, I'd say, that I didn't go into that region and encounter her, or at least follow in her tracks. She was, she was so active, so engaged. I'm going to miss those encounters. Just a few weeks ago, I, I had an opportunity to visit with Jackie in person. We shared some laughs, of course. It was at a dinner in Elkhart County. We we're scheduled to be together this coming week to attend a ribbon-cutting ceremony. She was constantly on the road serving, doing her job. It's not too, far, it's not too much to say that that was her calling. It's also not too much to say that Jackie's last breath was spent in service. In service to her constituents, to her God, to the great state of Indiana, to her country, to her calling. Jackie loved them. She was ev ever faithful to all of those things, to the great benefit of Indiana and America. And for that, I am grateful. For that, we loved her back. And we'll miss her dearly. Let that be her legacy. I yield to my colleague from Indiana.